Good morning. I'm glad I'm here, and I'm really glad that I'm continuing doing this. It's been a struggle. There's been feelings of overwhelm and um, all kinds of feelings that have really challenged me. And continuing to do the hundred days of video and share the things I want to say or just share anything in particular even though meditation has proved to be an amazing gift in my life it's really um, helping me meet certain aspects and patterns and there's an amazing beauty that I, as my ego, could never orchestrate, ever. And following along and kind of witnessing this kind of unraveling, I would call it unraveling, of... certain patterns and how deeply they tie in to my identity and to what I believe life is. It's extraordinary. I've been reading The Other Shore. I, oh gosh, I'm going to increase my name, Chit Nat Han or Thai. Um, beautifully written and um, my vision is expanding in certain ways um, and so that's beautiful but internally like the identification or the identifying of a pattern of um, feeling like I had to lessen myself um, because my desires or the things I needed would hurt, cause pain to other people. Um, that's really unfolding uh, more and more. And of course, it really is unfolding because I am working with my family right now, and the pattern was established in my family, or at least it seems it was. And, you know, who, who knows how deep the pattern goes. Uh, previous lives. Something that one of my beautiful friends brought up this morning was change and talks about it in this book he enters into change as actually a binding ingredient i mean it's it feels that way change being the binding ingredient of the ability to actually live a life the ability to actually live a life otherwise it's just oblivion there's nothing nothing can be nothing can move nothing can exist and really experiencing that sensation is quite amazing and And it gives me some recognition of why resistance, uh, obstruction actually turns to be very painful, starts to be very painful. Well, the obstruction and the, the thing that's unraveling or moving or showing up 
is how deep this pattern of of overwhelm and feeling responsible for the pain of others is in my life. It has been in my life. How it has created a world that I'm living in with how I relate to my kids or how I related to them. And why things sometimes can feel so heavy. So, so heavy. So this morning, I got to sit with it again and feel the, almost like this heavy wet blanket just starting to like reveal itself within my um, energies. And of course it was revealing itself as I got to sit and once again send my parents a invoice for my hours and me knowing that they are telling me that they don't have money in their account right now and me seeing what's happening with their choices in how they are what they are focused on how they're running their business what's going on and me being a part of what's considered dependent upon them and how I react to the news and different things when they express what's going on in their personal lives. They're in a huge transition and how I, how I react, my reactions. been observing but this morning instead of not sending them my hours I did I just sent it to them this is huge because I'm at a precipice of asking people to donate and assist me in being able to continue providing videos, increasing my quality and value, and being able to continue to share and create art. And this clearing is a beautiful step in that. I'm grateful.